On this worksheet, we're going to be reviewing spectroscopy of molecules that contain a benzene ring. So these are going to be benzene derivatives, molecules that have like a benzene ring that's got substituents on it. None of these spectra are for the benzene molecule in itself. For each set, for each pair, so for example, we have two IR spectra right here. We want to determine which of these two IR spectra shows sign of a benzene ring. In the IR, when we're looking for benzene, um, we're looking at two specific things. Number one, we're looking at the carbon-hydrogen stretching, which is in this area right here. The benzene ring causes the carbon-hydrogen peaks to be kind of stunted or smaller, and that's what we see in this situation right here. They're just stunted and smaller. We also definitely need to see a peak around 1600 for the carbon-carbon double bonds in the benzene ring. That would be here or here. Both of these molecules have that carbon-carbon double bond, but this one, because it has that stunted carbon-hydrogen stretching area, this is the molecule, this is the spectra that corresponds with the uh, molecule containing a benzene ring. Now for mass spec, when we learned mass spec, I didn't talk um, specifically about how to identify a benzene molecule in mass spec. The, so this will be the first time that you hear about this. This peak right here, which corresponds to 91, so this is a mass of 91. If we kind of zoom in on this, here's our 100, 95, 90, so this is 91. This very strong peak at 91 corresponds to something called a tropilium, tropilium ion. And the tropilium ion is like a rearranged benzene ring that has absorbed another carbon atom. So it's going to be a seven-membered ring, and I'm really bad at drawing seven-membered rings, but I'm going to do my best. Looks like kind of like that. That doesn't look good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this tropilium ring has three double bonds, and it's got a cation. It's positively charged up there. When we have a molecule that is a, like a benzene derivative, like say, say something like toluene, and when it ionizes in the mass spec, it actually absorbs that seventh carbon atom into the ring to form this tropilium ion. This has a mass of 91, and it's a very stable ion, so it passes through the mass spec, and it always shows a really strong peak at 91. So this is, this is our indication that we have a benzene ring. Here are a couple of proton NMRs. When we're looking at proton NMRs, benzene hydrogen atoms show up around seven parts per million, which is what we see right here. They're pretty small in this case, but they are there. So that shows us we have a benzene. And then for carbon NMR, last but not least, we, sh we see peaks that show up in around 140 parts per million. So in this area right there.